Boo Beans, have you heard? Boo Tube sponsored by Loot Crate. Loot Crate is an amazing anime subscription service. If you order your subscription, you can get t-shirts, figures, and lots of other great things from your favorite anime. You can check out the video and see what Boo got in Boo's Loot Crate. And now, you can get special discount. If you go to the link and use special discount code BOOTUBE15, you can get 15% off your Loot Crate subscription. And you'll be helping out BooTube. Everybody wins! See you next time, Boo Beans! Hey, Boo Beans. Welcome back to BooTube. We're back with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, we did some dungeon crawling and beat up some Volkers in the under in the lower city. And beat up some Volkers in the lower city. Today, we're heading to the undercity to find Mission Veo and sneak into the Black Volker base. It could take a while, but we're on our way. Next step to saving Bastila. Undercity. Hold on there, civilians. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I've got my security papers right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Good advice. I'll take you up on that. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. Look at their if you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Are you serious? You're threatening me, me with my life for, for five credits? You, you only want five credits. What a joke. Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Laying it on a little thick, aren't you? I mean, oh, woe is me. I've met people who were in bad situations before. Usually, they don't go on about how horrible their lives are and how badly they need your money. Eh, it's a little sus. But look at this place. We are on the ground now. We're hundreds of thousands of kilometers away from the surface. Where the, where the sun shines and the, the buildings are all shiny and beautiful and there's droids running about everywhere. Now we're down here on the ground where it's always dark and murky and the people wear clothes that look like they're about to fall off their bodies. You poor wretches, here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. Get away from me. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Not Come if you on, go you spin two. them Get right out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. She certainly seems much more normal. My name's Krillin. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? The surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars... It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here, and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Who's that? Rukil's the oldest man in the village. 
The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The Promised Land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Okay, I'll go do that later. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Light side points game, that's what I'm talking about. I could have just told them to screw off and stepped on them or something, but I didn't. I gave them the, the maximum amount of money, and I said nice things. All right, let's find Gendar and uh, get the plot progressing. There's Rukul, and here's Gendar. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. That's kind of offensive, Why have you Carp. come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. You said something about upworlders who came here recently? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. I want to ask, ask you some questions. questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Tell me about the rat ghouls that live down here. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I think I'll be going now. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. Okay, so now I know how to find Mission. Let's talk to this old guy. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. How did we go from... Dirty homeless people hitting me up for money to this preacher talking about some kind of biblical salvation. What a what a switch. Uh, okay then, could I ask you some questions? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. What a vocabulary Even after a hundred years of life. I myself still become confused at times. You don't Perhaps say! I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. I'm Krillin. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. Same. And over time, guys, same. villagers See fell them? away the from same. the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone, too. 
The true path? What does that mean? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. Prove myself? How can I do that? My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. So, you're telling me you sent this young girl named Malia out into the Undercity where all the rat ghouls and, and other dangerous things hang out? And you don't know that she's dead? I will help you with this, Rukil. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Sure, sure. I'll be back if I find anything. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Okay, so now I've got two things to do. Find Mission and find his apprentice. Which means find her dead body, because she definitely didn't make it. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Anybody else recognize the voice of Jason Marsden just now? Yep, he does a lot of voices in this game. See if you can find any more that he does. There's plenty! How do you manage to run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Okay, so before I even look, I'm gonna sell all my things. Ha <laughs> ha! It's funny, this guy's down here trying to make a living, and I come down uh, with all this, you know, with all this money, but then I end up just selling my stuff to him and getting all his money. <laughs> and look at that, the short swords are already worth nothing. Don't need any of these. Reinforcement. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that for now and see what he's got. Ichani Battle Armor. Dexterity bonus 7, max dexterity plus 3. So, this would be good if I had more dexterity, uh, but for now, I don't really need it. Vibro Blade, don't need. Do I have any of those? I only have one. Anything interesting? Arcanian Heavy Pistol. One of the better uh, blaster pistols that you can find this early in the game. It's pretty good, but it can't be upgraded, so it has its uh, it has its limits. After I uh, after I level up a few times and other things become available, this gets left behind. Retinal combat implant. I need uh, implant uh, feet in order to use this, but it's kind of useful if I had that uh, uh, if I had that feet uh, unlocked. Here's an upgrade for a blaster pistol. But I don't need to buy any of these because I will find them by myself. Vibration cell for melee weapons. Again, I'll end up just finding these. I don't need to pay for them. And some Pazak cards. I'll take both of these. They're not too expensive. I like using minus cards when I play Pazak. That'll be all for now. Let's get going. What are you guys doing? 
Hurry, Hindar! Hurry! I Wait a minute, did coming. I just talk to Gindar? He'll never make it. Is He's a Gindar doomed. and a Hindar here? Oh, I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Looks like he's holding a lightsaber. I, I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rakuls are so near. Never fear! Krillin to the rescue! Open the gate! I'll kill the Rakuls! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Get him! Take him out! Here! Time to rumble! before we're dead. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. That's an example of um, voice acting that was not given proper direction. Okay? See, the... The, these two actors were obviously not in the same room when they recorded that. And so when the woman said, I still have you, Hendar, she should have said, I still have you, Hendar, because Hendar just got done saying that he doesn't have anything. But she still has him. So the emphasis was not there because she didn't hear what the, the, the prior line was. She just recorded her own in a vacuum. Eh, after you do voice acting long enough, you start to pay attention to these things. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? No, I'm good. Bye. Goodbye, Upworlder. Okay, so as you can see, I'm poisoned. But I recovered. So now I'm going to use a med pack and heal myself. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna save the game because this is the part where it starts to get hard. This early in the game, and I only have so much experience and so so many levels, uh, it, it starts to get tough. Rackle swarming and other things in the in the sewers, it, it's gonna get bad here in just a minute. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me, even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there, he, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa, whoa, calm down, kid. You're Mission Veil, right? Gadden Thex said you could help me. Gadden? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, Zalbar's in trouble. He needs our help or they're gonna sell him into slavery. Zalbar? You mean your Wookiee friend? What happened? Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure. But those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. If I help you get Zalbar back, you have to get me inside the Volker base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalbar before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Mission has joined the party! Alright. Let's get Mission some level ups. So Mission is going to be the, the, the smarty pants nerd of our group because I'm missing those skills and I need somebody to fill that void. So, uh, normally when you have an odd number of attribute points here, 
it would behoove you to level it up as quickly as possible. But in this case, I care a lot more about a uh, mission having more intelligence, which means more skill points to spend. So I'm going to go ahead and bump this up. And Wisdom's not really important for her anyway. Okay, so her security is uh, high, but her computer use is not. And I really need her to be able to use computers for me. So I'm going to go ahead and level that up. And let's go ahead and get stealth. I'm um, demolitions, I mean. And stealth as well, so that she can do all the things that I cannot do. Only one level? Darn. Let's see. She's got a stealth field generator, so she can turn invisible. And she's got a regular old blaster. And I'm going to let her keep that blaster, because uh, I certainly do not want her with her 10 strength and no bonus points uh, going into melee combat. Oops. And let's get her the best armor we've got at the moment. I'll go ahead and give her this uh, Ichani fiber armor. Because she has plus three dexterity, and it's probably going to go up. So this is the best armor we've got for her right now. And I'll give her this extra energy shield that I'm not using. And we're going to save the game! Alright, Boo Beans. We found Mission Veo, but there's a lot more left to do in the Undercity. And uh, we'll have to continue that in the next episode. So, leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite part was, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Boo Beans!